Hey everyone, it's Matt from Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews, and we're back looking at Oasis for our fifth neighborhood tour. This time, we are checking out Central Park, one of the unique features that was introduced on Oasis of the Seas. Central Park is a feature that you will not find on any other class of ship. Well, maybe except the upcoming Icon class from Royal Caribbean, which will carry forward the Central Park concept. Stay with us till the end, and I'll share with you two secrets about Central Park on Oasis of the Seas. So let's jump on in and take a look at Oasis of the Seas Central Park. Check it out. Luckily, as soon as you walk into Central Park, you get this handy dandy sign to make sure you know where you're going. Central Park is a wonderful place to go and relax during the day or in the evening, full of trees and plants, wonderful restaurants, and great shopping. Central Park is home to over 10,000 plants. You'll also find some animals that have made their home here, like small lizards, or a bird, or maybe this little gnome guy that we found hanging out in the trees. Another unique feature to Central Park is you can book these interior facing balcony rooms that give you a great view over all the scenery. When you first enter Central Park, in the middle of all this plant life, you can find yourself relaxing at a table for a game of chess. Shared with the Royal Promenade below, the Rising Tide Bar makes a trip every half hour from Deck 5 up to Deck 8 where the Central Park is and then back down. It's a great place to take in the views. Chops Grill is Royal Caribbean's signature steakhouse. Chops menu has all your favorite steakhouse dishes like ribeyes, filet mignon. You'll also find chicken seafood dishes on the menu as well. Chops has an elegant interior. It's a great place to catch dinner. It is also open for lunch on some port days. It is a specialty restaurant with an upcharge. What I really like about the Chops on Oasis class ships is this outdoor dining area. My personal favorite restaurant on Oasis of the Seas is 150 Central Park. 150 is another upscale restaurant with a wonderful menu. My personal favorites are the Lamb Wellington and then the Fried Cheesecake for dessert. The dining room at 150 Central Park is also very upscale. And before I get, make sure you try the Urban Garden Martini. It is the best cucumber martini I think you'll ever have. Again, 150 Central Park is a specialty restaurant, so there is a cover charge. Just down from Chops and 150 Central Park is the Trellis Bar. This is a great outdoor venue to relax and have a great cocktail, especially in the evening. Next up is the Park Cafe. Park Cafe is a complimentary food option. It's a great place to go and grab a bagel for breakfast, or maybe a deli sandwich at lunch. There's complimentary coffee and hot tea, though there is specialty coffee available here also. And here's a view of the indoor seating area. And the outdoor seating area, which looks out upon this central courtyard area a great thing about this central space is that in the evening, it'll be used to host concerts. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, we have Giovanni's Table. Giovanni's is Royal Caribbean's traditional Italian restaurant. Giovanni's Table focuses on high-end Italian family-style dining. There are two other concepts that Royal has, Jamie's and Giovanni's Kitchen, on other ships which do have different menus. Giovanni's also has a great outdoor dining area. Another one of my favorite spots on Oasis is Vintages. This is the place to go if you're looking for wine. Lots and lots of wine. Vintages indoor area has this wonderful wine tasting table and the rest of the area is a wine bar and more traditional seating. And keeping with the outdoor theme, Vintages also has an outdoor seating area. Moving on from dining and drinks, there is a shopping area which includes this John Hardy Trend Store. Unfortunately, it was not open for general shopping as you can see here, so got the best shot we could. Masika is another brand store you'll find on Oasis of the Seas in Central Park. There's a Tiffany store also on Oasis of the Seas in Central Park, but unfortunately we weren't able to get a video shot of that. The ship's library is also found on Central Park. The library is a great place to go and relax and catch up on a good read. So I promised you two secrets about Central Park on Oasis of the Seas. The first, it's not that much of a secret, but I like to call this the secret pathway. It's a not as heavily traveled path where you can go and relax and take in the scenery here on Central Park. And if you follow the path to the end, you'll end up in the outdoor seating area for Giovanni's table. The next secret are these little seating areas that overlook Central Park. To get to them, go up to the elevator bank on Deck 9. If you walk all the way to the end near Central Park, you'll find this sliding door. Not locked, just open it right up. and you can have this little private seating area to sit and enjoy, read a book, drink a coffee, whatever you like. It provides some spectacular views of Central Park. To give some perspective, let's take a walk right down through the middle of Central Park end to end. Of course, sped up quite a bit. And while we're taking this walk, let me thank you for checking out our tour and overview of Central Park here on Oasis of the Seas. Be sure to watch our other Oasis of the Seas neighborhood overview videos. And while you're at it, check out the rest of the Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews channel. Lots of content, including ship tours, stateroom reviews, and other videos. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss any future cruising content. This is Matt with Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews. Happy cruising, everybody.